to beginning Unity 5. So I really wanted to start uh, doing some game engine stuff. So uh, I have a little bit of experience with Unity 5, and it's a pretty fun engine. <clears throat> so we're going to be doing some uh, some tutorials with it to get you guys started. And uh, as of right now, I don't have any... Uh, Unity 5 is a scripting language. It, it, it requires you to know some scripting in order to uh, utilize it. So uh, what uh, I might do some starting uh, tutorials of the language, the scripting languages that Unity 5 uses. Unity 5 uses uh, mainly C Sharp and JavaScript. I don't know if they've completely got rid of Boo yet, but uh, as far as I know right now, the main ones are C Sharp and JavaScript. I'm not completely sure which ones uh, we're going to use at first, but uh, probably either JavaScript or C Sharp, obviously. Okay. So uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to want to get Unity. So Unity's, uh, this video is going to be very quick. All we're going to do is download Unity. I'm not going to actually install it. I already have it on my machine. I'm just going to show you guys how to start a project and just get you to what the um, editor looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit Get Unity. And it's going to bring you to the Unity page. Now what you'll find is that there's a paid version and there's a standard personal version. So now the personal version is free and it does not have any, obviously you can't do any of these things here with the free version. But what you can do is obviously you can make it with the free version and then upgrade the professional and publish that. What we're going to do is we're going to go with the free version. So what you're going to do is go ahead and go and hit download installer and then you're going to download it for your Windows platform. It should automatically find out which platform you have uh, hopefully, otherwise you could switch it. And then you're gonna download it. As you see now we're at version 5.0, that might change, but 5.0 came out uh, the 3rd of March. So, we're at uh, the 29th right now. Or 28th, 28th. So, uh, yeah. So go ahead and download the installer, then we're gonna move on to uh, opening up the engine. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a little splash page like this and it's going to immediately jump up to here. Obviously, in your case, it's going to say that you need to register. Now, when you have a register page, it'll say use a serial code for a professional version or it'll say like use the free version. Hit use the free version, create an account, then log in with your, create an account on the website or using the applet here that opens up. Obviously, mine is already registered for the free version. And when you register for the free version, it will open up um, a new document trying to get information from you about what type of platforms you want to develop for, what type of games you want to uh, create, uh, how many people are in your team. Um, what's the other one? Oh yeah, what person you are on team? You know, are you a programmer, artist, stuff like that? So just enter in whatever you whatever you think that you want to send documentation, and also definitely shows what Unity 5 is as far as its cross-platform compatibility. Now if you want to check into that, make sure you go and look through most of uh, Unity's documentation. Look through uh, the uh, the uh, release videos for Unity 5. It'll tell you every, um, every, every system that you could publish for. So it's a basically a, it's multi, what they call a multi-platform engine. You write it once, publish it, you're done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit Get Started. Oh, sorry, not Get Started. Get Started has a video in it. Uh, right here, this is uh, something I'm doing for a class. Uh, do New Project. And then you see the, the two options here. So we have 2D or 3D Project. And the first one we're going to start off is 3D just to get it, just to get to understanding, just to get to the understanding of it. And then what I'm going to do is uh, Unity. There it is. Okay, so you're going to select a, um, uh, a folder uh, that you want to save the uh, project in. In my case, I use Dropbox a lot, so I'm going to save it in Dropbox. Then we're going to do uh, a project name. And we're just going to call it Tutorial. And here we have all the different um, asset packages that we could import. And you could also go to their asset store and get a lot more. It, uh, Unity is very has a very, very... Um, involved uh, e uh, ecosystem as far as the people that use it. It's very, very it's one of the largest indie developer um, 
platforms as well as larger companies use it as well. So a lot of different expandability. Okay, we're not going to import anything, and then what we're going to do is just hit create project, and it'll take a second here, and it'll blow up your uh, your uh, your uh, editor. Okay, now what you're going to do is uh, now that we're in here, um, we're just going to make sure everything's working. You know, everything seems to be working. In another video, we're going to start going through all the little things here. But uh, this video is just a little introduction what we're going to do, what's going on, um, and um, you know, announcing my intention to do the tutorial. So, uh, yeah, we're going to continue on in the next video. Uh, I will see you guys then. Um, be prepared for uh, some a lot of scripting. So I don't really want to go into the scripting too much. I want to just jump in like you already know the base the basics of programming. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to do it to, to where you're like a moderate to where you watch maybe one set of tutorials that I have on any languages Java, C, C++. Uh, I got a whole bunch of them. I also have a general programming series where I write it on my tablet and explaining some of the basic structures. All the basic stru structures of all programming languages are the same. The syntax is different. So we're going to see the different syntax here in JavaScript and C Sharp. C Sharp's a little more strict in Unity, while JavaScript is a little more laxed. So uh, I'm going to decide which scripting language we're going to, we're going to use. I'm obviously going to do both. So I'm going to have some projects on one, other projects on another one. And then, uh, so so you can get to know which one you want to use. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for uh, more videos like this one and this series, as well as other series. And uh, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.